Hmm. Do you all not use guns? I use one, but... No, I mean a gun-shaped evoker. We summon our personas by pointing an evoker at ourselves and pulling the trigger of our own will. That's pretty harsh. It's so that we stay conscious of death. By facing our own death, we can draw out our hidden power. The evoker's a way to force that. Being conscious of death? I've never thought of it that way. This erasing the dark hour thing you guys mentioned, is it that tough to do? Well, yeah. <laughs> Saving the world's not for lightweights. If you want to bring about world peace, then you gotta put your life on the line, right? Saving the world? That sounds like something in a movie. Yeah, I guess. I guess we're like lonely heroes who fight day and night for the sake of mankind. <laughs> Just kidding. That is false. Junpei-san spends his days sleeping in class, doodling in his notes, and spinning his pen. Uh, well, well, wait a sec. I, I got friends too, you know. A hero? Huh. You're really set on this, huh? It's amazing that you can be so... resolved, I guess is the word. I'm doing my part for the sake of our town, but I've never thought about the world or mankind as a whole. Of course, if I can use my ability to help people, I think I should. And I'd like to, but... Wow, that's impressive. I had never thought about things like that either. Your fight is honorable as well. It isn't easily done. Your burden is different from ours. That's all. Are you putting your life on the line for World Peace too, Leader? Huh. In any case, let's hurry on. Hmm. Do you all not use guns? I use one, but... No, I mean a gun-shaped evoker. We summon our personas by pointing an evoker at ourselves and pulling the trigger of our own will. That's pretty harsh. We don't have any devices like that. Well, we have glasses, but we don't use them for summoning. Glasses? There's an odd fog in the TV world which makes it hard to see. It slowly makes us ill, too. But if we wear Teddy's special glasses, we can see through it very clearly. Teddy's what? <laughs> I'm a skilled artisan. Cool men like you can't copy me, Aki. I call them the see-through glasses that work in the fog. See-through? How does that technology work? I see. So you put on glasses and go inside a TV, huh? Yeah, right. What do you mean, go inside? You couldn't get through the screen. You'd sprain your finger. You'd think that, but we really can do it. Not that we didn't freak out at first. My partner stuck his head into a TV in the Juness electronics section. Oh, so he went head first. Of course. You'd sprain your finger if you went hand first, so you go head first instead. <laughs> Likely story. Yosuke freaked out so much that he wet his pants. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, well, uh, don't let it get to you. Everyone makes mistakes. Like I just said, I didn't wet my pants. You there. Teddy, was it? Once we get out of here, would you come visit the Kirijo Research Lab? I'll make it worth your while. Yahoo! My moment in the sun is finally here! We don't have to wait until we get out of here. We can just kick it off right here, right now. Together, we'll sing a chorus of love and desire. Consider the offer rescinded. What? Why? Poor Kay. Girls hate those pushy pickup artist types, you know. That's hard to believe from a guy who was all, Wee, let's go hit on girls on our motorcycles. I never said that. Is that the image you have of me? I'm still your senpai, you know. Hey, Sen, is Yochan really a prince? <sighs> Who knows? 
He's a prince, but he wets his pants? I said I don't know. Zen, are you angry? Angry? Why? Oh, never mind. I think I just misread it. Hmm.
はいはい。
やれやれ。Hmm. <laughs> 